Hi, we're just going to do a quick demo of our 515BC01 application, which is just a basic batch controller set up for um, volume, uh, volumetric batching, uh, accepting the signal from a frequency flow meter. Um, the display, it's quite basic. We've got our volume, volume flow rate, and then in our hold set menus, reset, log data, model info, and cal menu. If we're not after the operator to be able to access the hold menu items, hold set menu items, then we can put it into a basic display mode by pressing and holding the set and display key. It'll tell us that we're in basic menu and now we're only able to see the hold set, volume and flow. So while we're on volume, if I wanted to edit the batch, I would press and hold the set key it would show me what value was there and then as I continue to hold it will let me get to edit that value. The flashing cursor indicates what I can change. I can use my across arrow to move that flashing cursor. I can use my up arrow to increment a digit or decrement a digit. Um, uh, and then once I'm happy with that particular value I can press set and accept that value. At the moment, I'm set for countdown, so once I've entered the value, it starts from that value and then counts down. If I wanted to have a number of favorite values stored in the, in the batch controller for quicker access, then I use a, commonly, um, a table of commonly used values in our programming menu. And then we access that. We press and hold the set key as normal. We get into an edit mode. But in press, instead of changing individual digits, we use our display key to access that table. And you can see set 1 set for 50, 75, 100, 120, etc. I've, I've entered a table of 10 items. I've happened to put them mostly in ascending order, but they don't need to be. Once you've got to the end, you press it again, you get back to the start, which was your live preset value. Or you can simply scroll again if you missed the one you're after. If I was after 75 litres, I press set and I accept that value. And you'll see 75 is the start point. I would hit run. We would start to count. I'm just using a frequency generator linking through Relay 1 to simulate it. And then as we get to the end, with a bit of order, uh, automatic overrun compensation, it stops neatly on zero. Just to show you where that table is entered, I'll press and hold the set key and the display key again to get to the detailed menu so that I can then access the Cal menu. I hold set. I get to the, to the top of the Cal menu and then I can scroll across. The items I'm interested in are in the params menu. And at this point, if I press and hold the set key for two seconds I will get into edit mode. It can be password protected and items can be set such that they're not even visible and that's done via our program manager. Once in the params menu I can step down through those items through the standard batching type presets and you can see most of them are at zero. I've got a timeout of three. I've set it for count down. It could be set for count up. All right. Auto reset is disabled. Auto comp is enabled. This is why I'm finishing neatly on zero. And then I get to the number of batch sets that I want to use. And I can put in up to 20 of those. I'll put it back to 10. Now, I've previously entered a um, bunch 50, set to a 75, etc. If I wanted to change any of these, I can. I can make them any value that I would like. And then back to there. And then that takes you back to the top of that's our live value takes us back to the top of that menu I can press and hold the set key to get out at any time from edit mode 
and then it shows me the accumulated value as I get out and then uh, zero. If I wanted to select one of those batch presets that I just entered, again, that's the current value and I can edit it to be any value that I would like, or I press the display key and scroll through my favorite values. And I want to get to my 148, I press that, it shows me the 148, it reset, and so it's ready to run the batch. Almost there. With the batch complete, if I wanted to run that one again, I actually need, because I set it for um, uh, auto reset disabled, I can't press run and automatically start. I must press reset first, hold set, and then I get back to that countdown point, knowing what our preset is, and then I can press run. I can pause at any time, sit there indefinitely, I can resume from that 